today, we're going to talk about the principles of the U.S. government. These are the foundational ideas that make our government what it is. The first thing I want to point out is what or who influenced the formation of our government. For example, ancient Greece taught us about direct democracy, whereas the Magna Carta introduced this idea of limiting the power of government. The English Bill of Rights spelled out that everyone had to obey the law. Parliament introduced us to a form of government called bicameral legislation. The Mayflower Compact will be the first written agreement that is the beginning of direct democracy in the colony. And the Virginia House of Burgesses will be the very first representative assembly in the colonies. The Enlightenment had a huge impact on our government. Thinkers like John Locke introduced us to natural rights, the rights to life, liberty, and property, and that it was government's responsibility to protect those rights. Montesquieu is the guy who brought in the separation of powers and equal branches. Voltaire was all about free speech. Finally, Rousseau published The Social Contract, which said that the basis of government is a contract in which the people give up their individual rights to the general will, the will of the majority. That takes us to our first principle, popular sovereignty. The idea that the power to rule comes from the people or the consent of the governed. Republicanism is based on the belief that people exercise their power by voting for representatives. And those representatives in Washington work on our behalf. Federalism is the division of power between the state and federal government. The Tenth Amendment grants that power to the states by saying anything not listed in the Constitution is reserved for the powers of the state, reserved powers. Delegated or enumerated powers are those powers that are actually listed in the Constitution, what Congress can do. Anything not in there, they're not allowed to do it. Separation of powers was established to avoid having too much power fall into the hands of a single group. Our government is divided into three branches as outlined in Articles 1, 2, and 3 of the U.S. Constitution. Checks and balances as introduced by Montesquieu is the idea that there should be power that should check other powers of our government. So basically each branch of our government has a check or control over the other branches. That way, they all need to work together, and they need to work together fairly. Limited government is the idea that everyone, citizens and leaders alike, must obey the law. Article 1, Section 9 of the Constitution lists the powers that are denied to Congress, and Article 1, Section 10 lists powers that the states cannot use. And finally, the Tenth Amendment reserves power for the people, because if it's not in the Constitution or denied to the Constitution, those powers go to the people. Finally, and maybe most important, is our individual rights. These are the first 10 amendments of the Constitution that protects us, the people, from a powerful government. It guarantees certain individual rights, liberties, and privileges that cannot be taken away from us for any reason. So that's it the seven principles of our U.S. government. Hope it helps. Thanks for listening.